A lot of people have been using their stay-at-home time to tackle renovation projects, but KPIX 5's John Ramos found out new state regulations are making it hard to dispose of a common building material. If you own a fence, deck, or retaining wall built in the last couple decades, it probably contains this, pressure-treated wood. And if it does, you better take care of it, because if you go to replace it, you might have a problem. Because as of January 1st, this became a Class 1 toxic waste. Actually, it's been considered that for some time, but the state provided a variance to allow landfills to accept treated wood waste. But on January 1, that variance expired, and now there appears to be no one in the Bay Area who can legally accept it. As now that they're closing up the dumps, not allowing this stuff coming in anymore, there's no place to go. You know? That's a big problem for Robert Burnson, a fencing and deck contractor in East Contra Costa County. He's a relatively small operator, but the wood scraps are already beginning to pile up at his Antioch home. All of these little small end pieces are just, you know, from the kicker boards and the tops of the 4 by 4s that I cut. Where do I bring it? The answer, according to the county's waste authority, is nowhere. The State Department of Toxic Substances Control, or DTSC, says the wood contains toxic chemicals and cannot be burned, dumped, or even left on the ground for more than 90 days. It can only be legally transported by a licensed toxic waste hauler and taken only to a Class 1 toxic waste site or out of state. That's an untenable situation for Luis Rojas, whose Bayside Fencing Company collects about a dump truck load of treated wood waste every day. Uh, we need a solution for this, otherwise, you know, it might put some might put some guys out of business, you know, we can't, you know, this is, this is the lumber that we use every day and this is the lumber that we're taking down from people's homes. It's especially galling to the contractors considering pressure treated wood is still being widely sold at home improvement stores and lumber yards. It's half the cost of redwood and is better at resisting rot when in contact with the ground. I mean, it's a great product, but it's, it's like the nuclear industry. Where, where are you, you going to put it after you, after you get it, you know? The DTSC seems to be looking for an out, announcing they will offer short-term variances to waste facilities to give lawmakers a chance to craft a solution. Those may begin on March 1st. Until then, though, the waste wood will continue to pile up, even as more and more of it is being sold. In Antioch, John Ramos, KPIX 5. And legislators are worried the ban will lead to illegal dumping and greater toxic exposure, so they've actually introduced an emergency statute that would reestablish the previous disposal rules indefinitely.